Hey folks, uh, this lesson is the first part of Module 5.3, Graphing Cubic Functions. This is an Integrated Math uh, 3 lesson. Okay, so we're going to start off with, well, there's our essential question. So how are the graphs of f of x equals a times x minus 3 cubed plus k and f of x equals uh, 1 over b times x minus h uh, cubed plus k? How are they related to our parent graph f of x equals x cubed? We're going to graph this first. This A is a vertical stretch or compression. This B, when it's inside of the parentheses, that's affecting the horizontal stretch or the compression. Okay, so when it's outside, it's stretching or compressing vertically. When it's inside, uh, this B part, the, the 1 over B, if, say, like uh, it was 1 over 2, B would equal 2 because B is in the denominator. All right, and this number tells us if it was 2, I'd stretch it horizontally uh, by a factor of 2. All right, we've got examples of all of that here. So let's go ahead and graph uh, uh, the parent graph, y, uh, f of x equals x cubed or y equals x cubed, okay? All right, so negative 2. Negative 2 cubed is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, which is negative 8. Okay, so if we go to the left, 2 down 8, there's negative 2, negative 8. Okay, negative 1. When we put that in there, negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. There's the graph, negative 1, negative 1. Okay, 0 cubed is 0. And then uh, 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8, okay? So this graph, what it's doing is it's kind of making a curvature. This is called concave down. It's, it's curving down right here. And then when it gets to that, then it changes and starts curving up, okay? It's increasing no matter what, uh, but it's concave down. Um, concave down on the left hand side and concave up and if you think about it, you guys if we did one half okay one half if I squared one half one times one times one is one two times two times two is eight well one half and one eighth would be like right about there okay so this graph is coming down coming down and then negative one half squared is negative one eighth so it'd be like right about there so it's making a graph that kind of looks like that okay all right, so I don't have my Promethean board with me right now. It is broken, so I'm using my finger to do that graph on my little screen on my laptop, and it's kind of hard, so that was the best I can do right there. So anyway, so it says describe the domain, the range, and end behavior, uh, and where the graph, uh, where the function increases and decreases with uh, this graph right here. Okay, so domain, remember this from uh, integrated 2? The domain is how far does it go to the left and how far does it go to the right? It's an X movement. Well, this graph looks like it goes to the left forever, okay? And it does look like it goes to the right forever, okay? So the domain and the range, you guys, is the range is up and down movement. Well, this graph goes all the way up and all the way down. So we say the domain is all real numbers, okay? Same with the range, all real numbers, okay? All right. Uh, and then as x goes to infinity, this is our end behavior right here. So if we it, it, end behavior is when we go to the right forever, what's the graph doing? Well, the graph is shooting way up straight up in the air forever. So as we go to the right forever, this graph goes up forever. As we go to the left forever, that's what this says. As x goes to negative infinity, x is a uh, left and right movement. So as we go to the left forever, this graph goes down forever. So um, as x goes to infinity, the graph f of x goes to infinity. And as x goes to negative infinity, this graph goes to negative infinity also, okay? All right, and the function increases no matter what. When you, you always start at the left part and go towards the right, it's going up, going up, going up, going up, goes up for the whole graph. So it's increasing throughout the whole graph, which is through the domain of, of x, okay? The domain of the graph. All right, identify the transformation of f of x equals x cubed. That produces g of x, okay? So we're going to graph g of x using negative 1, negative 1 from this graph, 0, 0 from this graph, and 1, 1 is from this graph as reference points, okay? So here's the first one. g of x equals 2 times x minus 1 cubed uh, minus 1, okay? Here's f of x right there, okay? So we're going to graph g of x uh, using these three points as our reference points. Whoops, I didn't mean to move that. These three points right here, those are our reference points right there. All right, so this uh, 0, 0 is our HK. Here's HK. So remember, this is opposite same. So HK is 1, um, 1. 
Okay, so it's moving 0, 0 to, did I say 1, 1, 1, negative 1. It's moving that opposite same, okay? So it's moving the 0, 0. It's moving the whole graph over 1, down 1. But move this over, over 1, down 1. So that's called a translation. So it moves to the, it translates to the right 1 and down 1. All right, now this 2 is outside the parentheses. This 2 is a vertical, a vertical stretch, okay? So uh, it's being stretched by a factor of 2. So instead, let's look, go back to the F graph. When we go over 1, it goes up 1. Instead, on this graph, we go over 1 and up twice 1. If I had enough room, I'd go over 2 and up twice 8, because this graph goes over 2, up 8, okay? I don't have enough room on this graph, so I'm just going to graph these two guys. So um, uh, instead of going uh, to the right 1 and up 1 and left 1, down 1, we go to the right 1, up 2, and 2. So from here, we're going to go to the right 1, up 2, 1, 2, and put a point right there and go to the left 1, down 2, okay? So it's stretching this graph um, so it makes it a taller, skinnier graph right there, okay? All right. Okay, let's try this guy. Okay, this time the 2 is inside right there, okay? And that's my 1 over B right there. And I had a student today Pasquale was saying uh, it's the reciprocal of this number, and he was right. I liked that. I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so this, um, okay, let's go ahead and graph f of x. There's f of x right there. Okay, this graph, 0, 0 is being moved to the left, 3, up, 4. Okay, so it's translating to the left, 3, up, 4. There's the 0, 0. Now, this is my horizontal stretch. That 2 equals 1 over b. So if we cross multiply, we get b equals 1 half. B is always the reciprocal of that number right there. So it's going to be horizontally stretched by a factor of a half, okay? Because this is inside with the X, and this is an X movement. X is left and right, horizontal. So it's going to horizontally stretch this by a half. So instead of going over 1, like this graph goes over 1, up 1, we go over a half, up 1, over a half, down 1. If we went over over here, this graph would go over 2, up 8. If I had room, I'd go over a half of 2, which is 1, up 8. I think I actually did that right there. Did I do that? So it has a horizontal uh, uh, compression by a factor of a half, and so we're going to go over um, uh, a half and up and down 1. Yeah, I did. See, I went over twice, um, see this graph went over 2, up 8, so I went over twice 2, or half of 2, sorry, half of 2, up 8, that took me up to there, and then if I went over 1, which is half of 2, it goes down 8 right there, okay, again, sorry, my fingers got a little bit slippery there, it's hard to do that graph with my finger on my laptop right there, but it, it should have kind of a, um, a compressed version of this, a horizontal compression right there, okay. All right, let's try this guy, okay? So here it's f of x again right here, okay? Now this is outside, so this is a vertical uh, compression because it's not the reciprocal, it's outside. It's the reciprocal when it's inside, okay? This is b, this is 1 over b. So just reciprocate that, and that'll tell you what b is. But when it's outside here, this is a, Okay, so this is A. It's being reflected over the x-axis. So this side is, this top part's going to be down here, and this bottom part's going to be up here. It's going to be reflected over this x-axis, and it's going to be moved over to the right 3. Okay, so it's translated to the right 3, up 0, I guess. All right, and then that negative 1 half is a vertical compression. Okay, so instead of this graph goes over 1, up 1, this one's going to go over 1, down a half half of 1 because it's being compressed by a half. So we're going to go down a half. So we go over 1. Remember, it's being reflected. So this bottom side goes up and this top side goes down. So over 1, up a half. If we go over 2, we don't go up 8. We go half of 8, which is 4. Over 2, down 4. Okay, so that's what we're going to do on that. And that's what that says right there. And there's those points and there's our graph right there. Okay, all right. If you are in my class, that's going to be your homework assignment. I got a couple of uh, slides with the answers. There's the answer to number one. So probably pause it right here, you guys, so you can see that. Okay, and then here's the answers to uh, three through nine, the odds. 
and we're going up to 13, so I still got 11 and 13, okay? So here's the answers to 11 and 13. All right, you guys, take care.